random Friday shop tour. We've been trying for a few days to get here uh, and show you what's new in the shop, what's restocked. Um, if you guys watched our video that we put up yesterday, we have the new pink table in the shop. Um, so we'll show you how cute that is in here, um, how we have it staged up. If you guys are wanting to shop along, Caitlin is on here. She's going to drop links. Everything is available at jamierayvintage.com. We need to turn, turn no, that off, No, it's too. because mine will only go down so far when I'm on streamer. I haven't turned your mic off, though, so they're not picking up the mic from here. Oh. I mean, maybe that'll work good, but it might be equity. <laughs> All right. This is not very wintry, but it's fully ready for spring and summer. Is so, it, this is a sale item, this is right? A, no, this is a restock. So oh, a well, restock. Stuff. Restock. That shows how much. You know, there's things that Zeb knows about, and there's things that I know about. I Let's just say I do not keep track of <laughs> all of the items that that we get wholesale because it's just it's way too much and it changes every season a lot i can't keep up any better than this you guys can this is the restock we sell out of them very quickly it is a pillowcase and pillow and it is 32.95 this is a sunflower fields pillow and caitlin has dropped the link if you're watching the replay and you're not seeing the links this is called the sunflower fields pillow so i will take a stab at it and say that the restock just barely happened because we've had it on order since the summer and we're barely getting it that does happen that all does right happen. So that's new, back in stock. Um, we also got these aprons back in stock. This is the botanical half apron. It's nineteen ninety five. These are perfect for the baker or gardener or just anybody that likes to wear an apron. Now, something to keep in mind: we have a lot of Christmassy things still in the shop, um, but once we get past like this week, maybe next week. The uh, the postal people and the USPS and the UPS are so busy, like they get backlogged and we can't guarantee that you're going to get it if you order it for Christmas next so week. Shop it in now. So that's why we're here with you today. Yeah, it'll get better in just a minute um, if you guys are watching because sometimes there's a little bit of a delay. I guess I, if I'm telling you that it's already better because I'm watching it on my phone and it's totally clear. So, okay. We've got this, it's 1995 Botanical Half Apron. Another thing that's a restock, this is an interesting restock. These are the blue green ink wells from England. We had almost 90, I think, that I brought from England and they sold out. And one of my manufacturers, not my, like wholesalers, I guess, they buy in bulk from Europe and they listed that they had a bunch. So I bought a hundred from her. I think we're down to like 70 something because these are super popular. Yeah, and it was super fast. They're $13.95, I think. And they're actual inkwells. They do have like jagged tops. Let me show you close so that you're not surprised when you get them. This is part of the design. This is the way they were made. They're called breakaway bottles and they would just break them right off of after they the mold or however they were blowing them and then they would cork these and that's the way they're made they were just super fast super cheap were designed to hold ink and that's and they were selling like probably thousands or millions of them and they just blew through them they did not worry about the top being nice and neat and clean finish on there they're cute just displayed on a shelf or you could like put little flowers in them people love them we sell out so if you were wanting one they, I believe the last time I checked that particular wholesaler was down to just a couple hundred. So I think we will probably not be able to restock. We do have a few larger bottles. They're the same price, but these ones aren't the necessarily the blue green. So just green. know. I'm actually going to add a variant for that. Oh, you now are going to do that? Blue green, you only get blue green. But look at the size on these. They are quite a bit larger. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. I'll add a clear variant. I'll just pull out all the ones that are clear. All right. Uh, thanks. They like my bunny sweater. It's from England. It's it's uh, one of my favorite things. In fact, my kids always make a comment, oh, you're wearing your bunny sweater today. It's like one of those things that long after I die, they're gonna be like, I want mom's bunny sweater. No, I want mom's I bunny I have a sweater. feeling you'll probably wear it out before it's able to be I don't know, it's really well made. I wish I could get them here because I feel like I, I could sell a We well, used to actually carry that brand, but they don't sell in the US anymore because yeah. they just weren't. They, they, well, they went bankrupt and they were bought out oh, by Next, remember? That's right. Yeah, but it's just, I love the sweater. Okay, um, inkwells. Okay, next, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, this is another thing for that from that importer. These are actually brass, antique European brass um, jam pots. So this one, actually, to be honest, looks like it's copper on the inside. It's so, 
It is, it is brass. You can see on the one. Yeah, they're brass on the outside. This one is like really black and crusty. I think if you were to polish these up, they would be amazing. This one's already hammered just from like being hammered and being used. <laughs> they're $69.95 each for these picked at random. If they don't sell, then I will take them home. Oh, uh, is that a drip? Yeah, it's like snowing in here. That's not a drip. No, that's snow coming through the ceiling. So the wind is blowing really hard and I do have a vent up oh, there. Oh, yeah. So if coming. the wind blows every now and then we get like a couple little drips out of the ceiling. I was like, it's snowing. Because I have to vent there. this giant room somehow. You can't just like seal it up and not let the air escape. Well, anyway. that's interesting. It's but when the wind blows super hard from the north to the south, it always, for whatever reason, gets like a couple little things in here. It's well, just the way it is, you go. know. 130 no, year old building. In case you didn't know about the weather here, it must be snowing outside because we got a couple Actually, of things we should do there. something fun next year. The building is 130 years old next year. We're, we should have a, in 2024? Uh huh. Oh, well, we'll have to have a party. Maybe you can get my greenhouse it was built. built in 1894. My and then we'll have a big party. Um, so another little thing I don't know if Jamie said, I'm going to just. Did you need to ignore I got to I gotta move on past all of the things I could build. Um, they have uh, cast iron handles. Yes. Cast that are iron riveted in. And brass. If you've been following the channel very long, you know, love the rivets. Amazing. And the price on them is $69.95, which is only because I bought them from my um, importer who buys in bulk. And if I pick those up, they would be a couple hundred dollars a piece because of the effort of like going and getting them and stuff. So we'll see. If they don't sell a polish month. Okay. Get a bucket to catch. Them. It's just like red, no, like there's like three little snowflakes. They caught the wind just right and lifted that <laughs> vent up and got under there. They wanted to come inside. Yeah. Because now it's still snowing and yet it stopped. So you are correct. I'm not ready like, for it to be snowing. I have so much more to do in the yard right now. <laughs> Let's do um, what's new to JRB. Then we're going to show a couple of upcycles that we finished this week that didn't sell yet. Oh, we also have some frames that we upcycled. We could show them that too. Oh, I'll go grab those real quick. Show okay. them the rolling pin though. I love those rolling this pins. This rolling pin is amazing. And if you guys are on Facebook, if you want to hit that share button, that helps us out a ton. Um, so these just came in. They look antique. They are solid wood, but they're new. I would say it's probably like acacia wood. Yes. So I had to guess. You are correct. Um, it's antique inspired and it's only $23.95. Look at the handle on that. Like, and the beautiful wood grain. It this, could be teak. It could be teak too, but it's amazing. I think we only have three left. We've sold quite a few since they came in. I've been needing to do a shop tour, tour for a while. And so things just kind of sell on their own sometimes before I even show them off. But this is in the new to JRB collection. If you ever just want to know what's new, if you hop on like once a week to the website, everything that comes in gets uh, updated on there. We actually probably need to update it and remove some things that aren't as new. Okay, next up, you guys know I'm obsessed with bunnies, clearly. And I buy- <laughs> Oh, is that a bell? It's a bunny I thought it was bell. a little lid in the picture when I saw it on the website. No. It is a bell that is a bunny. Oops, that doesn't work when you have the- thingy bobber on it but anyway it's got some stuff it's got some stuff oh it's got a stopper to keep it from clanking to super keep it loud. from clanking anyways i won't ding it and make it super loud but look how cute that bell is it's 24.95 for that one and then up next we have these chick molds they're not actual molds, but they're made to look like the chocolate molds. What I like about this instead of the actual molds is it's all one piece. So it doesn't like fall all over or whatever. But a lot of apart. times they lose their little clasps and they're like falling yeah. apart all over the place. So $7.95, look how cute that is. Perfect for spring or if you just like chicks. Um, next up, I'll do the fabric in a little bit. Oh, this is my this favorite one, thing that's new. Show them your favorite new thing. So, it looks like it's wood. It's just done well. It is resin. There's a fun texture on these horses. Um, they are $82.95. We had two, and this is the last one left. I'll see if I can order more if this one sells. Somebody came in and snagged it right up. But you can see how big this is, like, next to my hand. Like, this is a good, big size, uh, kind of, like, statuesque type horse. Um, and I, I think that this, like, I would probably put this on the mantle if we, I was just gonna say, it's a statement piece. It's like large enough to be a statement piece. 
I would put it um, on the mantle or like on your buffet or entry table as you come in. And for the holidays, you could just put like a pretty velvet ribbon wrapped around it, but it's really cool. They're all slightly different because they're aged and distressed. Then again, that one's $82.95. Um, next thing we have in the statue category, these actually came as a set, but I split them up so you could just buy one or the other and instead of buying both. We have these bells, sheep with bells. They're $44.95 each. And they've got like a really cool, chippy, mossy aged finish. You could buy both of them and stick them on somewhere. We used to have like a set of three, but people always wanted to buy them individually. So I decided to split these up. We've sold a couple of them since they came in. We've been a little bit slow here at the shop. I don't know if it's the weather or if everybody's just hitting up the big box stores for Christmas and they're not making it in, um, but we haven't had as many people come I'm gonna vote in. weather. Yeah, the weather's been a little stinky, but they're super cute. Um, next up, let's talk about fabrics and new brief brush. I know that we're getting ready for Christmas, but after Christmas, everybody wants to redo their room and freshen up their house. We're in full spring mode. Like, you know, we're, we're, we're not in spring mode. We're I'm in the middle saying. of winter, so we still have like all the cozy, like Jamie's got some fun pillows and some throws over here. Um, we still have that stuff in stock. It's not on sale yet, but like the things where we're, we're uh, procuring now are all geared towards spring and organization, things like that. Just like making your home new and fresh, because once you take down that Christmas decor, I feel like people are always searching for just not redoing their whole house, but maybe they want new bedding or they want like a new table runner or just a few things to kind of add a little something to their house. So I have a couple of things. Um, these table runners are very well priced. Um, this one is like, you want to check it up? But, oh, you're going to show them how wide it is. This one comes in two different lengths. I can't remember which one. This one is 1095. It is striped. It's you couldn't really striped. see that back there. And then the at the edge on them. It's got a rickrack edge, and it's $10.95, which I feel like is a really good price. This one is even less expensive. This is like an olive one. It's 90 inches long, I think. Let me, I don't know where it is, but it's long. Here, you want to hold the other side? This is like a plaid. Oh, that's long. And it's $7.95. And a scooch back. There we go. Look at that. You want to show them up close so they can see the fabric? Yeah, here it is. Here's this one. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Okay. Is this rolled? Or is rolled? And the bigger one of these is $13.95. So there's one that's $10.95. That goes to 54 inches. And then the next size up is $13.95. Okay. Um, up next, I tend to just carry bedding in king size because most of the people that are buying bedding for me are buying it for king size. However, if you see bedding on the website that you love and you need it in another size, you can email info at jamierayvintage.com, let Caitlin know, and I will custom order it in for you if they carry that. So this is just in a king size, and this is a, I'm going to pull out the Euro sham. Pull that out so they can I'm see I'm actually it. probably going to switch this out on my own bed. That's the other reason I buy king size. Oh, New, new for the new year. Yeah, it's got a ruffle on the edge. Can you guys see the ruffle? And it's black and white stripe. And then my favorite is that it has ties on the back. So this is the bedding you can get. I like to do on a king size bed. I like three Euro shams across the back. It's fifteen ninety five, which I feel like is a pretty good price. And then I'll show you. Them. Can you show them this up close? Um, I'm going to show you the sticker on the bedding. If you go online, you can see a better picture of it, but it is black and like khaki striped. It's hard to tell on the website. But what I love about this, it goes all the way down. It's got that long drapey look, which is sometimes hard to find on king size. I guess you can kind of see that picture there. Um, how much is that? Is there a sticker on that? Yeah, this is $89.95. $89.95, which I feel like for a king size comforter. So you could get yourself a bedspread or a horse, you know, your call. We have some more bedding. I was thinking I'll look for it. Do we have, do you want to show them some of those thrift flips and I'll find the other bed? Yeah, so let's show you some thrift flips. I think we already showed a couple of these already and we did these on Wednesday and we had a little impromptu paint of palooza. Well, we didn't do these Wednesday. We did these Tuesday. Um, so this is one of our printables. So if you're a channel member, you know, take advantage of the print in here because you have access to print these off. Uh, we we uh, include two digital prints if you're a channel member or a Facebook subscriber. But 
liking the frame on here. This is just crockery. Um, this frame was like a yellowish creamy color before, and we went with more of like a neutral tan color with the crockery and then dark wax. I feel like it really pairs well. I was going to paint the uh, the mat around there because it just was not working. Try not to get it to glare. There we go. Uh, but it went really well with this kind of wintry Christmas scene. Um, that one is still available. It's twenty one nine or uh, twenty nine ninety five. And then this one's my favorite that we just did. This one also one of those same prints for December. Um, this one's twenty one ninety five gold frame. Uh, I painted the mat. The mat was not a great color and painted that to go with this monochromatic winter scene and left the frame gold. Really loving that. So just keep that in mind if you're doing uh, makeover stuff. This is like little black dress in DIY paint. Um, just one coat on the mat, change that color up, and then it goes really well with the, the gold. I like it. All right, do we want to take them around and show them the pink table that we finished yesterday? We can, but let's do, have you showed them the sheep? You oh, I was going to show them this bedding. Show them that bedding. I still have a couple things over here. Bed. If you guys go on Instagram, you can see it. This is actually, this is the set. So this is the quilt and the two shams. And it's $229.95. And the quilting is really good on this. And it's, um, I'm going to show you guys. Let's just say it looks like my grandma made it. Well, can you show? It's got a ton of, of quilting on this it. This is heavy. Can you show it to my person? I want to show them that it's striped on one side. So what I like about this quilt is that it's ticking striped on one side and paisley on the other. So you can do either or. So if you look at the picture up really close, you can see the ticking stripe. So when you fold it over, it's got the ticking stripe. And that's what I currently, when, when I actually make my bed, this is what I'm using. This is the one we have? Yeah. Again, we only carry king size, but if you want a queen or a full or whatever, just email us and we can get that in for you. All right. So I, I actually didn't many. show them all this stuff oh. yet. Oh, we restocked those. Yep, we do have these. We have like three left. It's the last like, restock. I feel like this is very Christmassy, but it's also wintry because of a snowman. Yeah, it's cute. It's it looks vintage, but it's new. They're metal, and they they've got this vintage print on the front, so that actually is they're going to be super durable. Twenty two ninety five on the snowman, and then a couple more things that we finished Tuesday. Um, just a little galvanized tote, painted it up, left the inside galvanized, and then did like a marmalade uh, stencil on there. And then we also have this cedar box. box. Left the cedar inside, and then crockery outside, and then did the uh, the stencil in gray skies, and that's one of our JRV stencils as well. All the hand-painted items you can find at Saturday Thrift Topics are usually things that we thrifted with upcycled. Um, this one is $19.95 for this little cedar box that I stencil and painted. So this wall pocket was already kind of rusted. We didn't do that. Uh, Jamie's got some greenery in here. And then this is a uh, IOD uh, transfer with the bunny and the mushrooms. Isn't that cute. I love buying those wall pockets, especially when they're rusty. All right, you guys ready to go on about? Let's yeah. see if the stream holds out. Yeah, we just did at the same time. You just um, made a post about how we're always doing stuff all together in this... It happens like, I would say it probably happens about 15 to 20 times a day where we're about to say something and I was about to say something too. Happens. Happens. I was like, I was just thinking that same thing. All right, let's go show them our pink table. Oh yeah, the table from yesterday. So this I haven't listed online yet. It's going to be $199.95 in the shop and then shipped it'll probably be somewhere in the six. 500 500 600 dollar range i need to check measurements and see if i can ship it in a box or if it has to go if with can, a shipper if i can ship it in a box i don't have to charge so much oops let me i need you to scooch yeah i'm gonna show them this angle so here we finished too. the top we just left it natural and we did um sweet pickens top coat final finishes in matte and then the bottom is wildflower and just clear wax and then all the chippy is just what naturally happens with milk paint it's not perfect. It's got some chips and dings and we glued some veneer back on and all kinds of stuff, but it is really cool. I wanted to show them the dining table with the runner on it. This is the runner oh. we just showed them. So this is kind of like with the dishes and everything. It's just a great neutral runner. Well, and that gives you an idea of how long it is because I think this is a five foot table. 
and the runners hanging over each side. I don't know if this is the little runner or the bigger. Okay, so this is the 72 inch one. And there's a 90? Just, no, the 72 and then there's a smaller. This one would be more for like a sofa table. Oh, gotcha. If you don't want it dragging over the edge, 54 inches. Sometimes I don't like them going over the edge because then people, like when they pull up to the table, you got to roll it back. So sometimes you just want one that's shorter. Yeah. Need some French canning jars. We got you. Yeah. We actually don't have a ton from our trip in Europe. Some of these we've had and some of them we We do we brought. have some of the, like, this is from England and we've got this cute, I think this is Sadler, yep, Sadler teapot. If you check out our England haul, we do have, I'm actually shocked that these bread bins did not sell. We have, this one is the most expensive one. It's 149, but these always sell like first thing. So some might have to come live at my house if they don't like sell right. Don't act like you're sad. I mean, I'm not sad when that happens. So we've got a mix. This is like a new anchor hawking uh, cake plate, the sheep. Uh, oh, we painted that last week. Oh, yeah. That's the... This is actually one of my favorite combos. So this one we painted with crockery. And then we did the copper and then dark wax. How pretty is that? This one is $29.95. And then the is that bowl from England? Yes, this is seventy ninety five. It's a flow um, blue bowl. Look how pretty that is. You if know? you if you can't tell, we really just love painting everything crockery like this last like fall season. Because look at the clock is crockery too. I developed this color to make our thrift lips look like old crockery. Look, I still have my apron. maybe I need to take this home with me. That apron. Yeah, I was gonna show off my leggings, but we sold out of them, so I took those off. Then our banner, if you guys watched that video, our Christmas banner that we made. Yes, so this banner is $29.95, and this is, the ban this is the only thing that we actually finished all the way. And I did add all these ribbons. The trick when you want to do ribbons like this is you just tie it one ribbon, and you tie all the rest with the one ribbon. Don't try to tie a knot in all the ribbon. Otherwise, it gets, like, clunky and bumpy. I didn't realize that. And I went to do this, and then I figured this out. I'm sure everybody probably already knew it, but I didn't know. So this is both stencil packs. We have two of them. Uh, I think it's postcards one and postcards two. Or is it Christmas postcards or just postcards? Uh, Christmas postcard, and it's like pack one and two. Pack one and two. Uh, we used them together. And then there's two stencils that we didn't use on this that are also included like in that, those one. sets. And then jadeite, we you've got a out of the big fat butter dishes, but we still have the fancy. Butter you've dishes. got more on order, right? They'll be oh, here. Yeah, they come like every six months. So this is what we have. Oh, really? Them. That's what we're getting for now. Yeah. Six months is so long. They well, they make them in Ohio. They're busy, man. They're busy. We did take out oh all of the. We took out most of the fall stuff. We left some of the greenery. Um, but we marked it down. So be sure to head over to the sale collection on the website because we marked down all of the fall. The fall. I think it's about 35%. Caitlin put the markdown price in there for you. So Caitlin, can you link the sale collection? Um, worth noting that the sale collection, the way that it's set up is it will go in order of when the item initially was put into the website. So even though we just marked fall down, you might have to scroll through a few pages to see it all, if that makes sense. Because we sort new to old. So it's like whatever the newest item on the website is. So. so we do have, I wanted to show this little enamel picture. This one is not the French one. This is uh, Poland. That, is that Poland? Mm hmm. Okay. I don't know. Yep. So Polish. Look how these topiaries are. We just thrifted these. We have yeah, those are thrifted. If you can find good greenery, thrift it, thrift it, thrift it. Here's the thing is if I had to buy this wholesale and resell it, it would be $45 and I'm not kidding. But because I was able to thrift it and get a good deal, I can sell it for $19.95. People are like, how come you guys thrift for your shop even when it's not old? I'm like, because I would rather search and pick, cherry pick all the good stuff so that way I can offer better pricing. We do have some wholesale stuff, but most things we have sourced through picking and antiquing and yard selling. I wonder if they're doing some estates. I'm showing them the enamel up top here. Oh, yeah. This is all, they have all the pretty fancy stuff here so that way the kids don't touch it. <laughs> oh, I did want to show you guys 
Um, we got a lot of questions on our Costco food haul for the winter. A lot of people are really concerned with how much we purchased, um, if the power goes out or what happens, but we're ready. We, we just we just can it. And they're like, well, how do you can if the power's out? Well, propane outside. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if it gets real desperate, I'll light an actual wood fire and you know, you can keep your, your pressure up. You just have to watch the it really close. French canning jars that were on the table are, are in the England and French collection. Um, Caitlin, can you drop the link to the blue green, the actual antique ones for um, Lori? And also somebody asked the scale that we bought um, just recently, I think it was yesterday, that probably won't get painted till next week. So make sure you guys are um, following us and then click like favorites or notify all. So that way, you know, every time we go live because or we'll put up a video because sometimes they're on the live video, sometimes they're on the edited videos. All that greenery from last week made it in here. It looks so good. <laughs> like, it'll be great. When it's like Christmas, but it's like bright and airy in here. When we pull Christmas out of here, it gets kind of drab. And so I want all the greenery, all the floral, all the like heavy hitter. I'm going to come around this way because our candle display is actually looking pretty fun right now. It's pretty banging, this candle display. So we carry Antique Candle Co. We also have one beeswax candle. But we, we recently got in the soy wax melts in all the smells. And then we have the big candles and then we also carry the two ounce size. So if you're not wanting to invest in a big candle, you can get them in the two ounces. These are perfect for gift giving. We told you guys we'd give you some ideas for Christmas. Um, these candles are soil, soil. They're soy, hand poured, cotton wick, clean scents, not to throw any other candle companies under the bus, but there's a certain brand that sells at the mall. What they put in their candles is not something you want to be breathing in. That's all I'm going to say. These are really good. That's why we carry them and we have the full set. Another thing that's really great for people too is we carry these melters. So this one's actually, oh, this one's new. Ivy must have done some shopping. Hold on. I didn't, I didn't order this. So this is a canning jar melter. The price on this. $31.95 and it looks like that. It's a big one. And you can buy- Look at you not knowing everything that's in the shop. I know. Now you know how I feel. <laughs> it's like you at Christmas when the kids open their presents. Look, there's also this one. It's kind of like a stoneware one. That's so great. So if you don't want to have something burning. It is, it is true. Jamie does like the bulk of the Christmas shopping and she's like, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? I'm like, yeah, all that sounds fine. Uh, Caitlin says I did have Ivy order more warmers because we got wax mounts, but I didn't know she ordered these. These are so great. All right. So you want it for a gift giving idea. You've got the little natural soy wax and you've got a wax melter. We carry these ones. If you want a little bit less expensive option. We also carry the ones that plug directly into the wall. So if you don't want a cord, these are super cute. Actually, this one is a. Is that wall? one corded? This is a this is a corded one. Oh, this one's fourteen ninety five. But that's not the. This so is, there's your little wall pluggers. There's the wall plugger. These ones are. <laughs> it's right here. Uh, not priced thirteen ninety five. So you can pick up one of these, pick up some wax melts, and that's a really good Christmas gift. All right, um, let me put this back in here in the right direction. I really need to come shop my shop for it. It's been a little crazy. Um, next up, we're gonna show you one of Zeb's favorite things. Hold on, I wanna show him this. These little inkwells look so good in these old uh, sewing machine or sewing table drawers. You can buy one or 40. Yeah. If you wanna, you know, buy it, but you can put them all together. Look, Mar uh, Maria or Kazaya, one of them, maybe Ivy even, sharp edges. Probably Maria, she's really good. She's like, She's on top of it. She keeps me safe. Okay, look how cute this is. They set this up. It's gonna go good with my- uh, Your seashell stuff you just bought. I know, I just- We've got a little beachy theme going here. This is one that we brought back from England. This one's $13.95. And then this one we just picked up. It's in really good condition. I think it's only missing one seashell. And this one's $22.95. So these would be really great gifts for the vintage lover in your life. If you got like a teenager or 20 something that loves boho, Anything in this like seashell department, I think would be a really good present. And these are fun because they're one of a kind, they're unique, um, not something they're gonna get everywhere else. You could buy them some little jewelry, put it in the box. So cute. All right, let's show them your, your soap. This, this is my favorite thing. Because of that. 
Yeah, I actually love the way that this French soap is made. It's I think this one here is like quad milled. That's Marseille soap. There's like a way they actually have This to is 400 grams, 13.99. Um but super great. I love most of these smells. There's a couple that I'm like, uh, that's pretty girly. <laughs> Zeb, will, Zeb will use any soap that's in the um the thing I like about them is I get dirty I get greasy I get real grungy and and sawdusty and when I'm working hard and outside and this soap gets me so clean but it doesn't dry me out in the winter time so it's not squeaky soap you know when you put a soap like dial it's like squeaky 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 this is like a creamy soap it gets you clean but it's creamy and it's imported from France it's just, it's really good quality. And these bars are big. I think I figured it out like a bar of dial soap. This is like two or three bars of dial soap because this is 250 grams. That's a big bar of soap. We also, if you don't want to commit to like a big bar of soap, because this is 11.95. These are great presents, by the way. That's what we're talking about, presents today. The little ones are only 275. And what I like about these is you could get somebody three or four different little scents, put in a cute little baggie, and then they could decide which one they like. And you can also take them and put them in your drawers. I travel with those. Yeah. They, uh, they don't Wait. stop me. <laughs> they don't stop you from smelling. That's security. Smelling. Security will let you bring these to You know that, right? It's a solid. You know, I don't risk it because I've been stopped for deodorant. Oh, well, because yours are gels. No. Really? No, yeah. Oh. Well, anyways, you get these cute little soaps, and I unwrap them and throw them in my drawer. So even if they don't want to use them as soap, these are great because they make your drawers smell good. Little pro tip there. Okay, we'll come over. We have more of that. Oh, I wanted to talk about this. I do not promote the beauty line nearly as much as I should. I use all these face products. They're super clean. All the ingredients are listed on the jar, all things that you know what they are. But this, that's actually the wrong one. Where's the counting sheep? I don't know. Are you out? Mm -hmm. No, we probably have more. This is the whipped butter. We'll pretend that this is counting sheep. We have a product called counting sheep. If you have a, like, I can't like say this because it's not like FDA approved, but Jack had a horrible eczema on the inside of his arm here. Mm -hmm. And in one night. I didn't even scratching at it. It was scratching, terrible. Scratching, 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 scratching. And I put the counting sheep on there and it has delicious ingredients like jojoba and frankincense and all the amazing things the next day it was 90 percent better after putting it on for three or four days gone and i had a friend what did my friend desiree oh, she came in the other day and she said she had this some sort of skin issue on her face and nothing she tried nothing was making it better and she put counting sheep on there worked amazing i've heard people that like they get a tattoo and you know how i have to keep like special stuff on there to keep it from overly peeling or something. I don't know. I've never had one. They put counting sheep on there and it was amazing. So I probably should promote it more. I'm not a great salesperson, but the JRB beauty products really are good. And they're like small batch made in Washington, woman owned business, and they're branded for me. And we change things up. I think in the new year, I'm going to possibly switch. These amber bottles are kind of expensive. Well, they went way up right after we designed them. Yeah. So we <laughs> bought a bunch and it's been good, but to redo them in amber bottles is probably going to cost me double per packaging. So I might switch to a foam pump for the face Well, wash. look how fun our little sheep logo is. Uh, Zeb, Zeb did that himself. The counting sheep, I think it's like $39.95 or something for the little bottle. But it, it uh, is like super solid, doesn't take a lot. And ours is like, we've just had it forever. So I probably should do some more about it. But the thing is, we're like a vintage antique DIY company. So it just kind of feels weird to be like, today I'm going to show you face products. But they really are good. So um, another thing that I love that I don't talk about a lot. This is like my favorite cleaner in the entire world. This particular bottle makes over 44 gallons. 44 gallons. <laughs> It smells amazing. This is a concentrate, gets all the sticky, yucky stuff off. Yeah, if you got to get um, some stickers off. It's so good. $45. So it's just over a dollar a gallon when you mix it up based off of how it says back here. And I love this stuff. It, most of the stuff we carry in here is because I like it. <laughs> so I start carrying it. Or if I can't find something somewhere else. Um, oh, $45.95. And Caitlin says she's had the same jar for like two years. It really does last a long time because it's when it gets um, it's solid, but then when it gets warm in your hand, it doesn't take very much and it goes a long way. If that makes sense, it kind of like melts. Um, like those uh, massage bars. Yeah, yeah. 
Or lotion bars, I guess. Lotion bars. <laughs> Let's not talk about those. All right. Um, What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't tell people that we buy massage. All right, we got Christmas here. I wanted to show you. I mean, oh look at this pillow. Oh, it's so cute. It's ten ninety five. I didn't even realize we had this with a little, like, uh, what's this called? Fringe. It matches our throat blanket. So, so we still have Christmas right up front here. Um, it, it's still holiday season. I'm gonna enjoy it up until the very last minute. So this will stay here until after Christmas. And then probably right around New Year's weekend, it'll all be new and springy because we will be full spring mode. But uh, I wanted to show you, we've got like three copper kettles from England left. This is one of them. This one here is $124.95. But, you know, they come with dings and dents. They've been used hard. They've, they've had a hard life. The one, I, the thing I love about this is it's got like this scroll copper handle, and then over here, we've got all our wood products and things. We have two more copper kettles. These are the last ones. We'd only have three left. We probably bought brought twenty five home. Yeah, a lot. So a lot, a lot, a lot. This is where um, I pulled those. This is what they look like all together. All those little jars. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I actually love this picture. This is from England too. Forty nine ninety five. Really and then I think last we're going to show you, I just wanted to show you the enamel we've been collecting. I actually love it, seeing it all together here in the shop, the blues, and then we've got some blacks up there. I don't think any of it's new. It's all pretty much used from the thrift store, but still got a lot of life left in it. And we talk about a lot about planting and doing things in enamel. Uh, these are, I mean, you could fit a small tree in some of these and do like an indoor plant or like a tomato bush in the wintertime when you don't have a greenhouse or something. I actually might need to try that out. Brad just bought this teapot. Oh, nice. And the small cedar box that we showed. So that just sold. I'll pull that so we can put that up. This is a really cool teapot. Yeah, it's a good one. I was looking up what has sold. Let's see what did Rosie get. Oh, she got the scalp frame. Where is this frame? Oh, it's on the wall over there. She must have saw that frame. Let me grab that for you, Rosie. We have a lot of frames because we own a decoupage company and I like to, I, A, I like the art. Some of like, those are some old, uh, they're called like gentlemen's portraits um, out of, out of uh, an old Irish pub in England, in London. Um, the and tipper, tipper, the ti tipperary. Tipperary, I can't yeah. say it. Um, Beverly just got some Euro shams. I'm like, what's everybody buying here? Oh, we got someone coming in. We should wrap this up. Oh, okay. We're, we're there anyway. All right, okay. <laughs> what did Mary Jo get? All right, she guys. Pot. Good job, Mary Jo. I'll pick you out my favorite one because you're the first one to buy one. All right, guys. If you want to come shopping at our shop and you can't come to Utah, it's all available at jamierayvintage.com. We will package it up and ship it to you so you can get it in time for Christmas. Um, if you have any questions, email info at jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, please hit that share button, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for Bye. hanging out with us, guys. Bye, guys.